Adam, what's with the lighter? Ah, it's the next myth. Disposable lighter explosion. Apparently, there are many circumstances under which one of these simple disposable lighters can explode and potentially become deadly. I've heard about that. It's like if you're welding or something, the slag ends up in your pocket and up goes the lighter. Absolutely. That is probably the most well-known and the most popular, and it's a perfect place for us to start. To make fire, you need three things, fuel, an ignition source, and oxygen. If a lighter ruptured while someone was welding, the fuel inside could escape, mix with air and heat, and presto. To set up for their blue collar test, Adam puts a steel bar on some boxes and faces a welder towards it. Then he hooks it up so it can be triggered remotely. I've got a MIG welder here. It basically feeds wire out, creates an electrical arc, and lots of sparks and hot slag. Beautiful. It works perfectly. Now, which lighter to choose? I've got a whole bunch of disposable lighters. I think we should try all kinds for this. OK, sure. They set the lighter right under the welder tip for maximum fallout. Three, two, one. As the sparks rain down, they melt the plastic. Oh, got something. We got burning. And the lighter catches a light. I can actually see the liquid butane bubbling. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah, I see it shooting out. Things look like they're about to boil over. <laughs> I can feel that one. Yeah, that was good. That was a good little poof. Your favorite flannel shirt just went up in flames. What happens when you drop hot slag in a lighter is exactly what you would think would happen. The plastic melts and it releases the gas, and if there's sufficient temperature in that hot slag left, then it could ignite, and it does. Why well, is a little ladies lighter, isn't it? This is for all you female welders out there. Do you know something I don't? How come you're standing on a box? Just to get out of the way of the light. Oh, OK. <laughs> I was just getting nervous. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. OK, here we go. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> They're getting more energetic. If a little welding slag goes in your pocket, hits the lighter in the right place, causes the case to fail, poof, it blows a plume of, of fire over your head. That's an explosion. <laughs> so, welders, be warned. Leave your lighters in the locker room. Jamie and Adam are putting disposable lighters to the test. Are these little gadgets as innocent as they look, or mini tools of destruction? What's next? Next up is clothes dryer. Apparently, if you leave the lighter in the pocket of your pants and you run it through a cycle in the dryer, it can get hot enough to blow that lighter up, and maybe some of your property, and maybe you. Great. Let's do it. I'm sitting on our test platform here. A bonafide dryer. We're going to hook it up and we're going to put a lighter through the drying cycle. See what happens. Adam replaces the front door with laminated safety glass. He adds a temperature gauge, puts in the lighter, and is ready to tumble. There we go. Ready to go. Darn, he forgot the dryer sheets. They make things so much fluffier. This is kind of like watching paint dry, isn't it? It's getting hot. Yeah, see the thermometer? It's already at, uh, like, 160 degrees. Oh, that's pretty good. Now all there is to do is wait. And wait. And wait some more. Let's look at the high speed for any sign of a spark. Nope, nothing. But it is quite spacey in a Kubrick kind of way. Look, Adam. I can see you're really upset about this. The ladder's been in for over an hour, but all it's done is go for a ride. What you need to have for a disposable lighter to explode is two things. You need to have enough heat for the plastic in the lighter to melt, and then you need to have an ignition source. Now. I'm not terribly sure we have either of those things in this case. 
I think we're done here. Nothing's happening. Mitt busted. Or you just want to take another nap for a while. <laughs> With the drying done, it's time for another round of disposable lighter mitts. I know that sports don't make any sense to you, but have you ever, ever played a round of golf? Yes. Really? Yes. All right, the next one is, can you cause some significant damage by smacking a disposable lighter with a golf club? I don't know, those golf clubs go pretty fast. I think we could probably do some damage to a lighter, but we probably shouldn't be next to one, so maybe we need to build a mechanical rig. I agree entirely. Kids, never try at home what we're about to do. Hey, there was a spark. Where there's a spark, there may be hope. Jamie is no sports nut. Making mechanical devices gives him a power rush. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> His golf machine's muscle comes from two pneumatic actuators connected to an air pump. As the air rushes in, their valves will open, and the force will push a golf club fastened to a swinging arm. Meet RoboPro, Prime Directive. Erase the lighter. Three, two, one. I don't have a clue what happened. The club swings at 85 miles an hour. That's about the speed of your average human golfer. The only thing that differentiates you and me from a couple of 14-year-old pyromaniacs is ballistic glass. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> Reset! I think we should put a bowling ball out there and see whether it throws it. All the elements are there, but there's no spark. And without that, may as well just be friends. I mean, you've got the release of the gas, and there is a, a creator of a spark in the mechanism. Mm -hmm. But we could do this a hundred times and not just hit it exactly right. What's your problem with that? I don't think the machine will take it, actually. To fast track the lucky shot that would get a spark, Adam glues down the striker, so the flame will be on as the club hits. Are you ready, Jimmy? Four, three, two, one. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Nicely done! White boy high five! <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> now that's what I call chemistry. That's cool. There's a whole delay. The, the gas expands enough to mix correctly with the air, and then it goes up. It doesn't go up immediately. That's awesome. <laughs> so, is it time to go to the clubhouse now? What do you think? Well, I think that's pretty well confirmed. I mean, if you're going to do this and you're out there in your polyester golf suit you're in for some trouble later the guys customize a car mythbusters style that was beautiful but next 